Hi guys, if you are getting ntoskrnl.exe high CPU uses or high disk uses, you can easily fix this. Let's move to the first method. Just click on start button, click on gear shift icon to open settings and now click on system. Now click on notifications and actions and now try to turn off the notifications. Okay, try to turn off the notifications. Let's move to the second method. Just search Regedit. Okay. Now click on Registry Editor to open it. So now, when you have reached this memory management, okay, session manager and then memory management, okay. Now, in the right side, you can see this option clear page file at set down, okay. Right click and choose modify. And change the value data as one and click on ok and now restart your computer and it will clear the page file uh, during shutdown and if it also does not fixes your problem if you have a, a cd drive or a dvd drive earlier in your computer and you have uh, you know changed it uh, attached hdd hard drive or ssd into it then please notice that there is a switch uh, near to it just try to toggle the switch or slide the switch to a different positions because what happens uh, because uh, there is uh, currently no DVD drive attached to your computer and uh, your BIOS send a signal that your DVD drive is open so to fix that you must you know fix by sliding the button and sliding the uh, button given in the caddy okay. if this also does not fixes your problem just search device manager now click on device manager to open it and now go on updating each and every driver okay go on updating each and every driver just right click update and uh, search online for automatic update okay in this way i know it is a long process because there are a lot of drivers associated but if you're facing this problem you're serious to fix this problem you can try this let's move to the next method just search services and now click on services and now here just first of all search sys main service okay just double click on it okay and now just choose startup type as disabled and click on stop okay and now click on apply and click on ok okay now find windows search service okay windows search search service now double click on it and now stop the service okay and now try again and maybe your problem will be solved because most of the users while uh, turning off these two services it fixes the problem for them <coughs> that's it guys please do like the video to support us and thanks for watching the